So while I was here, it was an opportunity to make site visits with some of our grantees. Um, we have some wonderful grantees in the Toledo district. Um, Tide is one of them, as well as Satim and Yashay Conservation Trust. So I visited each of them. With Tide, I went out to the Port Honduras Marine Reserve and saw the progress they're making with the field station and um, their work in ensuring good marine conservation practices in the reserve. And then uh, with Satim yesterday, we visited uh, the community of Conejo, where they're involved in community forestry management. Tuesday was a long day. We went by boat to uh, Sarstun and saw two of our, our partners there. One of them is a youth-led organization called Apro Sarstun, and the other is a women's organization called Amudis. And, uh, we, is this on the Guatemalan side of the Sarsun or the yeah, side? Yeah, sorry, for, I should clarify. So yeah, it was on the Guatemalan side. Um, Celia Mahung from Tide came along with me because she knows these folks and has collaborated with them for years. And we met on the Guatemalan side, heard about uh, the work they're doing to try to ensure more sustainable fishery practices with the Guatemalan fishers and also to support uh, the women in this community with livelihoods, including um, creating some... Uh, organic uh, huertos or, or orchards, kind of uh, farm gardens, and um, we saw, visited one of those. It was a great visit, went to the office of Amudis in Livingston and learned also about their work on violence prevention. Okay, yeah. and um, what did you do with Yashche? With Yashche, so that, that was a, a shorter meeting. They had a full slate of um, work to complete and I had a, a pretty full itinerary. So this particular visit, we just met in the office for a couple hours and I heard about uh, all that they're doing right now. Um, last time I was here, I had a chance to take uh, several of my board members out to Bladen Reserve with the Yashche team and uh, to see their excellent work on the ground. But I've been really impressed with what they're doing in climate smart agriculture and in fostering agriculture ecological approaches um, generally in the landscape around the protected areas of the Maya Forest Reserve.